And joining us now, I'm pleased to say, Yepi Rindam, he's the CEO of Playo. Yepi, fantastic to have you on the show. Congratulations on that growth. Just explain again exactly what you provide to these businesses and companies and why the pandemic was so transformative. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. Um, I think uh, in Playo, we are trying to set up businesses for success when it comes to enabling the workforce uh, in buying everything they need to be efficient in their work. Um, so this is about inviting all of your employees, setting them up with a company card or the ability to pay a bill and removing all the friction in the expense reporting, the um, collecting receipts, all of those use cases we all know as, as business people. Um, you could say this has been relevant for uh, for 50 plus years, um, but it's become even more relevant uh, after the pandemic as the workforce has started to be more and more distributed. You could say being efficient from home, being able to buy stuff and, and be uh, productive in your work is, is harder than when, when you were in the office, being able to sort of go to a manager and so forth. So Playo is exactly tapping into this trend by setting up every single uh, employee for success. Is it simple to use? Because that's my biggest problem when you're trying to record all these receipts. One, it just takes so much time. And two, the system actually can be quite complicated, way more complicated, I think, than it needs to be. Yeah, we were really tired of this process as yeah. business people. We spent way too much time in the past. And, and I think we all know it. Um, so what we've done in Playo, and I think it's a bit untraditional, is we've really optimized for the user and not necessarily so much for the, the CFO or, or the administrator. So we've tried to make it really, really easy for you as a spender. So all you need to do is just buy stuff and then we try to automate the rest. Um, if you buy something online, we'll automatically find that receipt in your inbox, attach it to the transaction, automatically categorize it. So really, you know, taking away all of these top of mind things that you need to do when you bought stuff in, in a business uh, world. So the user is, 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 our, um, is, is our hero here in Playo and, and we're happy that you know, the review platforms out there are rating us number one in of these news. Yeah, I've spotted that. You're growing incredibly fast. And you also make this free, I believe, if it's a very small business, five employees or less, and then you have a tiered system. So if a big company comes to you and says, hey, sort us out, we want everybody to use this. They pay, but the very small businesses don't. Yeah, and this is something that's important for us. I think, you know, as a business owner in a, in a small business, growing business, you have enough of stuff to, to think about. And uh, we want it to be, you could say, an easy decision to get started with Playo and the price shouldn't be an issue. So we want every business as they're starting up and growing, being in love with Playo, and then, you know, as they grow, they would eventually have to pay something. Yeah, are you profitable? We're not profitable. Um, we really chase uh, the growth um, very ambitiously. We are in six European countries. We are opening oh, no. up a lot of markets uh, <laughs> in the next year. And that has that has a price. Um, so the growth is, is what we're chasing. Yeah, and investors aren't worried because they're, they're seriously giving you money. Um, you've just had your first funding round, I believe, and that was the point that I was making in the beginning about your, your valuation. Um, I couldn't help but notice that um, some of you came from a, a, a unicorn called Trade Shift, and I'm quite familiar with them. Um, and they raised money in Europe and then they left and went to Silicon Valley and moved to San Francisco. And that really frustrates me that Europe can't harbour its own unicorns and allow them to raise money and grow. Any risk that um, Europe loses you to the US? You know what, it, it also deeply frustrates me. And, uh, you know, we think about Europe, but we also think about Denmark as a, as a very small country in, in Europe. And uh, I think, you know, we'll try uh, really hard to, to build the business out, out of Denmark. We have offices as well in the UK, Sweden and Germany but try to keep the headquarters in, in Denmark. And I think if there's a time uh, w when this could actually happen, it's, it's right now. I think, yeah. you know, we, can, we are used to working now in a di distributed fashion. And I think when it comes to the talent, actually, I also think that the mindset of the talent is, is moving towards wanting to work where it's extremely livable. And of course, you know, the US and San Francisco is, is livable, but so is Copenhagen and Berlin and, and London. So I actually do think we have an attractive uh, proposition. Copenhagen is beautiful even at this time of year when it's, um, it it's pretty cold. It I is. wanted to have this conversation because I've had that conversation so many times with, with great startups that, then, that have then left to the United States and um, Europe needs to do more to hold you. Um, Yepi, come back and talk to us soon, please. I want to hear about, more about um, your growth and your expansion plans. Yepi Rindam, the CEO of Player. I'd love to do that. Great. We'll see you soon. Congratulations. Thank you.